AI Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has started rolling out their first version update to the Power Toys utility app for this new year, which, as many of you know, is a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline your Windows experience for greater productivity. Now, if you are currently using Power Toys, you can just click on Check for Updates, which will update you to the latest version automatically, which is version 0.53. Point one. And in this latest release, we have a new utility called Always on Top, which makes it possible to make an app or window appear on top of others. And then we also have lots of fixes, changes, and numerous improvements to the Power Toys app. Now, if we just take a look at Always on Top, which is the new tool, which rolled out now in version 53, we can see here that Always on Top is a quick and easy way to pin windows on top. And like any of the tools, you can toggle that on and off. You have activation uh, keyboard shortcuts, which by default are Windows Control T. And you can change that. You can edit those. You can click on Do Not Activate when Game Mode is on. And Appearance and Behavior. You can show a border around the pinned window. You can toggle that on and off. Your color, you can change that uh, uh, behavior of that uh, 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 pinned window, that border. You can change the border thickness. You can change and toggle on and off play a sound when pinning a window. And then you can also exclude an application from pinning on top. You can add that to your excluded apps. So just to demonstrate, I'm just going to use calculator. And then I'm going to go to my Windows, Control, and T. And there we can see I have my blue border, which highlights that Windows, which will always stay on top. and if I, even if I click on another window, um, my calculator will always stay on top as the description says. So that might be a useful and handy feature for some users using Power Toys. And then two of the existing tools now support some new options. So if we just go to our File Explorer add-ons, the Preview pane now has another uh, a file preview where the existing R.SVG md uh, your pdf dot pdf and then we have a new one now called enable gcode dot gcode preview and it says here only dot gcode files with embedded thumbnails are supported and then obviously you can toggle any of those on and off so your dot uh, gcode now is your new file preview added to the file explorer and then also power toys run has also now got a new option basically for web searching and we just activate that by pressing our alt and space key and now we can search directly using your uh, default search engine um, through power toys run if you activate that new um, uh, option where it says yeah web search search the web in your default browser using your default search engine so that's also could be another handy utility for some users of the power toys app now if we just head over to github where power toys is maintained and developed by microsoft yeah as i say there are lots of fixes changes and improvements and there's too many to mention in the change log so i will leave a link to this uh, website on uh, to this link on github where all the change log uh, improvements and and fixes are listed where you can go check out more in depth if you are interested and basically all the, the uh, tools have received some sort of fix or update and then also if you don't use power toys you can always just download it directly from github or as many of you know by now um, you can also get it through the microsoft store uh, uh, on both windows 10 and 11 because power toys can be used uh, in both windows 10 and 11 so just want to let you know power toys version 53 is now rolling out with that new um, uh, always on top tool and then those two new options to the file explorer preview pane and your power toys run where you can search your the web directly from power toys run so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one